Well, welcome back to my Ruger 1022 Tallow Tiger build. This, uh, I guess, is going to be a part two. Finally, have my scope mounted on here. I've just been so busy uh, with work, and uh, and actually something that kind of delayed it uh, is uh, the scope I was going to put on here. I ordered a Lupul VX2 3 to 9 by 40 gloss, and when I unboxed that scope, I thought, mm, man, I wish. I really wish that scope was on my, my CZ527. So that's what I ended up doing is, this is the uh, VX2 3 to 9 by 40 that came off my CZ, uh, CZ527. Uh, my pop the gloss went on there, went to the range, sighted it in. And uh, of course, exact same scope. It's just pure aesthetics at this point. And um, and actually for rings, I, just, I had these actually just laying around as a set of Vortex Viper rings. Medium height and you know, at first I was like, ah, oh, medium's gonna be more than, you know, high, I was too high. But then I forgot, of course, oh yeah, there's iron sights on this gun. So as you can see, it is close. And uh, I put the scope as, as far back as I could to get the eye relief I wanted and uh, and not have it touch. But, um, and I, I, I think it's good. I don't think I would want to go any further back. So anyway, that worked out, luckily. And uh, some ammo that I think I'm going to try in this. This is what I think. I've been thinking about this. I mean, because there's no harm in trying anything. But uh, I'm trying to think of the ones that right off the bat I know are going to work pretty good. And uh, the good old faithful CCI standard velocity. I know that's going to work pretty good in here. But uh, this is sort of a new one lately for me. And I've been buying bricks and bricks and bricks of this because I, I tried some of it. And uh, this is the Aguila Subsonic. And uh, I've tried the Aguila Standard Velocity. Um, didn't love it, per se. I mean, I almost want to try it again, but I really know, though, because these subs are just fantastic. Why would I shoot the standards when the subs work so bloody good? Um, so, and it, I don't think there's any reason in comparing the standard versus subs. My opinion is just buy the Subsonic, and I don't think there's any advantage to buying the slightly higher velocity uh, standards. I just don't think they work as good. And uh, the good old trusty CCI Blazer, um, sort of my faithful 1,200 feet per second, cheap uh, 22 ammo, and uh, which I think is going to work probably pretty good in here as well. Um, obviously with it being a semi-auto, there's a little bit of a worry that uh, that slower ammo isn't going to cycle as well. Um, but I think it will. Um, maybe it needs a little bit of break in before it'll cycle it uh, consistently, but I guess there's only one way to find out. So. That's it guys, this is uh, I guess part two again. Like I said, this is it done. What do you guys think? Had a set of uh, Butler Creek flip caps. Just threw on there just cause I had them. And that's it. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon, bye bye.